that view. So we're just checking out of the Willows guest house. They were lovely. Lovely, lovely place. I mean, look at this view when you come out of there, a little B&B. Look at that. Amazing. So, good, beautiful morning. How are you doing today? Fresh and well and beautiful. On this fine, what even day are we on in it? Whoa, slippy. Open. Open. What day are we even on now, Holly? Wednesday. Wednesday today. Only a little bit of snow overnight, which is good. We are now going to head down towards, uh, oh, I don't even know. We're staying in Aviemore tonight. We're going up on the gondola thing. We checked and it's still open. So that's where we're going to head first. Holly is trying to take some pictures, but she's going to be like, oh, I'm so cold, hurry up. One thing I absolutely love is when we arrived like last night, it was obviously pitch black. We didn't know where we were or what was around. And waking up in the morning in a complete new location and seeing like just these huge mountainous regions all the way around us is pretty awesome. It is awesome. It is awesome. Where are we going here, Holly? Uh, left. Left. Thanks Actually, for the left. thanks for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> mountain experience and I've got my glide cam got my cannon I'm gonna try finding out we can get a ticket up the gondola up the mountain which I'm really looking forward to oh gondola closed Holly damn it we even looked earlier online it was still open Oh, well that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. It said it was open earlier, but we just spoke to the guy who works there and they're taking them all off because apparently bad weather's coming in and they won't even be open like tomorrow or anything. Oh, I wanted to go up there, that would have been Dude. awesome. It's part of it, traveling in this conditions. conditions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we've been sat in this traffic for about 15 minutes now. No one's got out of their cars, nothing's moved, nothing's drove past us. And I'm thinking, do I get out and go on, go and see what's happening ahead? Because nothing's moving, no one's moving. There's a lot of cars waiting. Okay, well he didn't stop and want to speak to me. He stopped me a person behind though. Yeah, I don't think we're moving. So we did decide to turn around and we just got us some traffic lights and the traffic lights said, wait here, like on red, until the convoy vehicle appears. And I was thinking, what on earth is a convoy vehicle? Thinking, is that just the first person in the traffic? Oh no! <laughs> Actually this is the convoy vehicle. <laughs> I wonder why. Is it because you have to go a certain speed? Mm -hmm. That is pretty hilarious. On the way over this bridge, though, we didn't have a convoy vehicle. I just didn't care about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> nice lunch break. Well, I've never seen that before. <laughs> So we've just stopped and found this pretty cool memorial, a marine memorial for the marines, I believe, and all the soldiers, isn't it? Look at that awesome view. Thank you. 
So we just luckily have been driving for ages, both been bursting for a wee wee and we found a little village so we could go to the toilet. <laughs> you, <coughs> just get right in my mouth. you can see how thick this snow's been. That's got to be like a foot. At least a foot of snow. Pretty crazy. Right, we head back to the car, are we going to carry on? What are we doing? I think so, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> These road conditions aren't the best for my little Peugeot. What? What? You want a picture? <laughs> So we found where the resort is, but I'm actually in the car park now. <laughs> How did this guy get in? Like, there's no, there's no way I can park anywhere. I can't mount up this ice, can I? I need to find where a car is left. I mean, look at this car here. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be ours in the morning. Bless him. He looks like a mushroom. I literally have no idea where I'm going to be able to park. Um, this is like... At least the road's clear. It's just about two foot of snow. Both sides. I mean, look. That's as high as your door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. I reckon we'll park here. Oh, I have to take it off over. I haven't had a confirmation. Oh. <laughs> Make sure that's not an actual rock. No. No? Good. Right. <laughs> Let me squeeze out. <laughs> right. Made it. Whoa, nearly fell. Right, I've just literally parked on the side of the road. I'm gonna ask for a shovel so I can dig my car in, I think. Madam? Oh, thank you, sir. Well, this is cute. <laughs> Look. You've got the <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, we booked a accommodation in here. McDonnell Hotel and Resort Aviemore Highland Conference Centre. Hopefully we didn't book a conference room, we actually booked a room we could stay in. Okay. Oh, how do we get in? In here. Whoa. Okay. Hello. Ooh, free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Happy with that. Okay, so we made... We went to the wrong place. <laughs> That's probably why there's nowhere to park. We're all called the same thing then. Everything is called the same thing, yeah. Right, let's go to the actual place now. We weren't very far wrong, we just need to go to that building there. Found a kind of a clear space to park in, but hopefully it doesn't snow this much. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> He's got an afro! <laughs> Ready? Ready? Sorry, making a bit of noise. Tooth. <laughs> Three. Two set. that's not even on this floor. Seriously, what? <laughs> Where are we going? So we finally found our room. Had a bit of confusion. Toilet, shower, sink. What else we got? Huge bed again. Look at that view. Up that. Oh yeah, that's a lovely view. Look at, whoa, look at our view. Mountains and snow. And I don't think there's anyone else staying in this hotel. <laughs> he even wondered why he ran off so quick. 
Okay, so we have found this is their high street. We're gonna go on a little mission. Holly wants a coffee. coffee. <laughs> Holly wants a little coffee. And we wanted to do a bit of exploring. It's lovely. There's a bar in there. Go for a cheeky little beer. This is, we definitely chose the right shoes, didn't we, Holly? Almost. Yeah. Mine look like my snowboard. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try going up in here. A little cafe. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that was deep. Real deep, boy. Huh? Yeah, look, there's some stairs inside. Push or pull. I reckon we got that. Wow. Do I business cards? I know. This is like advertisement corner. Whew. Man. It's one thing when it's like really cold outside is you layer up. I'm sweating now. Whew. Wow. Hello. Cheers, Holly. Cheers. Ching. So we were casually just sitting here, just about to leave, and we got given a whole bag, Holly. A whole bag of scones. There's got to be like ten in there. <laughs> right, let's go. There we go, mate. Suppose you didn't get a cake, Holly. I really did. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> that does. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Thank you, bye. So we're actually going to go into Tesco's and get some jam. Considering we got ten uh, free scones, we're going to get some jam. Yeah. Yeah. Might have to buy a fork. I think maybe. To yeah. scooch it on with. Still sort of a genius idea. Instead of buying knives to put our jam on, squeezy jam. I didn't know they made squeezy jam. Now you do. That's Quid. So lazy. Bargain. We thought we'd try saving a little bit of money today, just a little bit, and get some fish and chips to take back to the room. Because we wanted to get into the spa as well, and that closes at eight. So we ain't got long. So we haven't got long to really sit down and have a meal. So fish and chips, I think. So we just smashed down our fish and chips in our little hotel room. Looks very lovely and splendid with these very nice pimp chairs. Elegant chairs. Now I have a little question for you. Every single hotel room I stay in, it has one of these. What is, what, what is one of them? What do you reckon it is? I have no idea. I can't say I've Literally, it's like, you can't use it to sit on because it's... Did someone just put your clothes? But why would you put your clothes on there? <laughs> I literally, I, I'm... I think we're being a little bit stupid, but not knowing what it is, but I literally have no idea. Are you ready, Holly? <laughs> we, have, we can't leave until they're all gone. <laughs> and you've already started on one. We got the squeezy jam ready. I reckon we should just literally just squeeze it all over the whole lot. And munch it. That's pretty cool that that place we went in earlier for the coffee just gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine scones for nothing. Just because they were closing, we were the last people in there. And look at them, they've got like raspberry in them and chocolate normal ones raisin ones these ones are amazing <laughs> so earlier we found out that tomorrow might be getting 60 to 80 mile an hour winds which is pretty crazy fast winds and possibly more snow and as you saw from earlier the snow is pretty deep already so we don't actually know what we're going to be able to do tomorrow. We really want to go up on the train, which like goes up into the mountain. And there's like a food place, a food place, or like a restaurant or something right at the top. Uh, yeah, a restaurant. Something like that. Uh, but that's basically what we want to do tomorrow. But we don't know again. Like we want to go in the gondola today, but the weather's so bad. That's shut. So we don't know yet. But we're here for one more night. Well, we're staying here tonight and then tomorrow night. Then we drive back to Inverness. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. It wasn't exactly what we wanted to do because I wanted to go up in the gondola and film some really cool stuff up there, but we couldn't, obviously. Um, so I'm literally just going to leave this video right here. 
please come back and see me again tomorrow where we're going to be doing some more cool stuff out in the snow in Scotland, which is out there. So until next time, remember these three important things, which are stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. And until next time, we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Do you know we're staying like on the Ness River, which is where like Loch Ness lives. I think I just found where he's been going. I found little dragon footsteps. Look, Ness.